You know, when you're a kid, everyone tells you that when you're struck with a difficult decision in life, you just take out your pen and paper and you make your pro and your con list. You trust your mind, not your heart, because your heart will lie to you and stop being such a silly, emotional little kid, Jimmy. But what if there is a still greater power, something much stronger than your mind, and something that could connect you to other forces in your life that maybe your rational mind cannot. Well, in this video, I want to introduce you to this idea of resonance and how you can use it to make much better decisions in your life that are truly aligned with who you want to become. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, one of the best ways to make better decisions and to really figure out what you want in life, to build a life that excites you, is through journaling. So I've included the first link in the description there below is for a free journaling worksheet. And when you click that and sign up, you'll also get a weekly email on some sample journal exercises you can use to change your life. Now, here's what that fact is. Have you ever been on a date with somebody and they meet Every single one of those criteria on your long ass list of qualifications and the things you like, the height, the weight, the boob size, the pedigrees, but on the date, you don't feel anything, right? So if dating were so simple, all you could do is just put down a list of qualities and find that guy or that girl, then dating would be easy. But why do human beings in most free cultures choose to date or marry someone with a connection? Where does that come from? Is that just chemicals? Is it just chemistry? Is it just biology? Or is there something else going on? Whatever that is, the way we recognize that is through hunches and through intuition and gut instincts and feelings. Not emotional feelings, but hunch feelings. And so just like you can meet this person that has all these amazing traits, but when you feel them, you don't feel anything. And so you don't feel drawn to them. Well, in life, if you spend your whole life going through the head, which is creating the list of pros and cons, the checklist for the things you want in that job or that person or your dream life, but you don't feel anything, you're going to end up not feeling anything at all. Because my corny jokes here regarding feeling are, if you don't feel it here at the start, at some point, you're still not going to feel it. So let me share how I personally shifted my life from the mind stuff, the, oh, she looks great on paper, oh, this job is great on paper, oh, this city I should move to, to what is my gut impression and exactly how that can change your life. So the first thing you really need to do to attract this feeling of resonance, to have your intuition scream loud and clear what you want, is you have to find silence. And the way I define silence is purely You're not around friends and family or mentors or teachers that will influence what the inner voice is saying. So let's say you know you have your parents and they really want you to become a doctor because you're an immigrant family. They want you to be safe and secure. They want you to maybe help support the family. And they just want you to succeed because they came from a very tough upbringing. But internally, you know, I'm destined to become a writer. And so you've always been in this clash with your parents your whole childhood. They want you to be a doctor. You're like, yeah, I mean, maybe I should be a doctor. Writers are broke. And I met that one dude, Billy, who said he was a writer. And he was really just a drug dealer and a hobo. So do I really want to be a writer? I mean, the mind is just going off. The mind is making... The mind is the mind of fear. The mind wants you to feel safe, right? Because the mind cannot see what the intuition feels. Because intuition, like Florence Shin says... It doesn't explain, it just merely points the way. And so if you're occupied in your life with all these people that want to tell you how you should live your life, but you feel something different, you're not going to be able to feel that if you're not in stillness and silence. Get away from everything for a time period. What do you feel? The second thing is to think versus feel. So shift, you're going in your head, okay, I went on this date with this great girl, this great guy, and... You get caught up in the superficial. God damn, they're hot. Like, great job, awesome person, fun, a lot of variety. This is pretty sweet. But you know you've made this mistake before. It's a mistake. And you know 
Right now, you're thinking about them, but you're not quite sure how you felt on the date. Because you're like, oh my god, I'm so lucky to be with this caliber of person. But, what do you feel? Right? The way you know what you feel, this sounds crazy, I have to say it, but what is your body? What does this down feel like? Does it feel excited? Does it feel uh, like your stomach's a little tight? A little uneasy? Does it feel open? Like, oh my god, I can't wait. I'm talking to all my friends about them. What do you feel? Maybe you have these job opportunities come up. Forget the mind for a moment. What do you feel when you feel Las Vegas in your body? When you feel Minneapolis in your body? When you feel being a programmer in your body? When you feel being a writer in your body? Which one makes you be like, eh? And which one's like, ooh, that'll be cool. These are the kinds of impressions that are intuitions, that are gut hunches. Now the last thing is to remember that life is nonlinear. You know, the acupuncturist and the Chinese medicine doctor that first helped me resolve many of my digestive problems, one thing he always loved to say was that, do you know how you got up to where you are right now? Like, did you think you would be here? Like, did you think you'd go to China and try to become a monk? No. Did you think you'd come back to where I was, Connecticut? No. Did you think you would end up going to Chinese medicine school, do a doctorate? No. Did you think you'd write a book? No. Do YouTube? No. Build a business? No. So how did all those things happen? Right? They're good things, but how did they happen? You didn't plan that. You didn't plan the straight line in your life. It was nonlinear. It's like this, like ding, 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 like the pinball. And yet, humans try to plan our future as if it's going to be linear. As if it's going to be step by step. But really, we don't know what's going to happen. Maybe something happens and our parent dies and that changes our course of life forever. A breakup, a new relationship, something else going on. And so when you follow your gut, your life is going to seem like this. But it's going to be awesome. And even though you cannot plan this, it's going to be the most exciting, awesome, fulfilling, successful life you can dream of. And you have to trust it because if you try to control with your mind this, the mind cannot deal with this. Uh, where am I going to be? I, I don't know. Like, what, Why would I move from New York to Paris? Why the hell would I do that? That's stupid. The mind cannot catch this. It's too much. But the intuition understands that. So the last thing is to be flexible in, guess what? Maybe today you wake up and you know, this relationship's not for me. Or this job is not the right one. Or that move that I made, I made the wrong decision, it's time to go back. And you have to trust that, because that's always the voice of truth inside. And it's not the voice of the mind, which is trying to plan your life through fear. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. This idea of resonance is always following your gut, and not just your mind. doesn't mean to turn that off, but see from both perspectives. And if it feels good, it's going to feel good. But if you think it's good, it often will not feel good. So think about that. Now, of course, if you want to work on these kind of exercises, the best way to start is through journaling. The first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet. And if you download that, the first link there, you're also going to get a weekly email on how to use journaling to reinvent your life and get clarity on what you want. So check that out, the first link in the description. And otherwise, come check out my next video right there or right there.